positions across the country. And I know because I get courted uh, to become president and CEO somewhere else and I know what they're offering. I would tell you that it's in line and maybe even lower than what others are getting in this position in other markets. So again, it's based on industry benchmarks. It's looked at. My board of directors approves it. The county is aware of how much I make. And in fact, you're right, it is more than the county administrator makes, and it's more than the mayor makes. And I, I, I tell you that when I was working at the city, in fact, I was probably making more than the mayor then, because the mayor comes in at a structured salary, the county administrator comes in at a structured salary. But if you compare me to others in the, in the hospitality industry, in our industry, not against government, because that's not apples to apples or orange to oranges. I mean, I'm using your terminology. That isn't a fair uh, comparison. It just isn't. Well, let's, let's get back to the Speaker of the House, because I don't sure. want to make this a personal thing uh, right. with I appreciate me. that. Uh, but in his words, he doesn't understand why government and taxpayers are in the business of promoting and paying for advertising for Fortune 500 companies. And what would you say to him about that, that there is no real public interest in financing how well hotels and well, motels and, and, again, and Tampa I, I, and the convention I, center I, I, activities and, and things again, like that. Again, and I would say it with the utmost respect because I've said several times that I respect him. I really respect his opinion. I would say that many, many states in the country, if not all, invest in tourism marketing and it's not about marketing Fortune 500 companies or hotels, it's about marketing a place. When we market this destination, we market an experience, we market a place where you can come and visit. And other states, and if you want, you can look at uh, US Travel, Travel's website, they've done studies where states have cut back on this marketing and decided that they were already good enough that people were going to come to their state because just of who they are. And there's a direct link between tourism marketing dollars and the amount of visitation and the economic impact that it makes in a destination in a state. And so one that comes right to mind is Colorado. Colorado years ago decided they want to invest anymore in maybe it was the same mindset. We don't have to invest in marketing our state because people come to Colorado. They love Colorado. And what happened to their market share and their visitation was a plummeting. So I can tell you that, you know, again, we, we relish the opportunity to sit down with the Speaker of the House and explain to him how we do our spending, what that translates to as far as jobs and salaries here locally, and many of those constituents watch your show and also our voters. Okay, and again, in the, in the course of this conversation, I've asked for a specific accounting of your payroll, mm -hmm. which you don't want to give it's us? In, it's in the report. You can, you can pull it from the report. So I can see the salary of every you one will, of your you employees. You will see how much report. was paid quarterly out, out of that tourist development tax on those uh, uh, line items. So these two ladies sitting here in the room they're, they're videoing expensive. us right now, I can see their they, salaries. They, they should be in that report. They should be in that report. They should report. be in the report. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it's a tourist development tax dollar expense, it should be in that quarterly report. Okay. And again, tourist development dollar expense versus... Private dollar expense. See, I, it's really hard to parse out. I've looked at those reports. I don't know how you could. You, you might have You've to looked spend at which weeks. reports? The one you're talking about. The, the previous one. That, one that the three. three th the line item report. Mm -hmm. The same one that I pulled the taxi fare from. Sure. It, you would have to spend weeks on that to discern how much employee A, B, or C is making a year. Well, you know, it, it would take a comprehensive forensic accounting it, it, to extract that information the way you are willing to offer it. We are, we are transparent with every dollar spent, and if that means it's 3,000 line items in that report, that's what it is. Okay, let's talk about contracts. Okay. The Pitbull contract, now a public record. Sure. Can we see all of your third-party contracts? If, absolutely. Okay, how soon can we have those? Uh, you tell me which third-party contract you want to look at. Anyone you've no. signed this year? Uh, sure. We can see all of those. Third-party contracts, they're mostly with marketing advertising agencies, sure. Okay. But you can't... If it's out of the tourist development okay. tax dollars, absolutely. So you'll give us every third-party contract that Not you Not every third-party contract, Mark. You ask me for what you want out of that, and I will give it to you. Well, we'd like to see every third-party contract negotiated and signed by Visit Tampa Bay this year. This specified. This fiscal year... 2016. 2016? Yeah. Okay. Can't see the credit card statements for reasons you've stated. Mm -hmm. 
And if we want to see payroll information, we have to extract it from the 3,000 line items and somehow parse out what people make. Sure. And are you willing to give us that spreadsheet in a sortable uh, Which database form? The one, the 3,000 line items. That's the way we produce it. That's the way it is. It's sort of it's sorted by date and expense and and you know it's well it's there. actually the the way you, the way anybody produces a spreadsheet is on a computer mm -hmm. and then somebody prints it. Well, there's a program and you right. enter information and it prints it that way. Right. The, but the program you use for this, I assume, is Excel or Access. Can we have our finance people? Can yeah. we have electronic copy of this? Of that? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So again. Uh, Getting back to the Speaker of the House. Yes, sir. What he is saying is, mm -hmm. unless organizations such as yours are able to provide 100% transparency of every dollar you spend, mm -hmm. he's going to do whatever he can within his power to take away your funding, removing the bed tax, and if necessary, he says, taking state money away from Hillsborough County, which funds you. What would you say to that? Uh, well, we certainly have to have a sit down with the Speaker of the House and show him how transparent we are and what those dollars are being used for and make sure that he's, uh, he's comfortable with that. Absolutely. We're in process of doing that, in fact. You've already contacted we're, him. We're in process of trying to schedule a conversation with the Speaker of the House. Nothing to hide, Mr. Douglas. It's all there. And we don't have a problem sharing it with him. Okay. Anything else, Michael? No. Are, are there names in there? There are employee names uh, associated with the charges. Can you show me in here where there well, might be a salary uh, that we would uh, sure. backtrack If you on? look, here you go. Here. Salaries. Again, if you have an issue with, with any particular line item on here, we can, we can go ahead and have a conversation about it. Salaries. In fact, the first part of the report is all salaries. Okay, well, go back. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's look at one of these. Salaries. Mm -hmm. July 31st this mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. salaries. Somebody was paid $10,000. Earnings, accounting, payroll, connect. How would I ever know what that means? Whose salary? If you want to know, we can sit down and talk about it. Who's well, that we're, is. we're, I thought that's what we're doing. Well, right we here. don't, I don't have it right in front of me. But my I mean, I have to is, go back and match these the, line items put with who I know, got but paid. You, but you're telling me that everything I need, if I just looked at this, is in here. All it says is salaries. Every, it has a number. Uh -huh. I don't know who's getting paid that salary, if uh -huh. it's more than one person, yeah. or if they're even technically on your payroll. <laughs> Well, I, I, but I, no, that pay. information's not here. That's my point. <laughs> okay, well, this is all salaries off of the tourist development tax. Right, but it, first doesn't, few pages. it doesn't tell me yeah, but who's making what. Okay, well. That's what I'm asking okay. for. Okay, and you have Tampa Bay Sports Commission. It's highlighted here. Right, but and then it goes you into keep turning the page. I want to see the salaries. <laughs> well, the salaries are there. Look at the amounts. I'm looking at the amounts, but, you know, so that tells me that, okay, on 9.30... Somebody made thirty-eight thousand dollars in their paycheck. That was a pretty good paycheck. And my, again, it might be a combination of, of, of individuals. But that's my point, okay. Mr. Carano. I With all it. due respect, mm -hmm. it is literally impossible for mm -hmm. me to parse out okay. what that means. I understand. I understand. So it's not transparent. I if think, I can't do well, that, it's not transparent. Your 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 definition of transparent and mine are a little bit different. It's transparent because I it's believe, listed here. I think we can agree on that. Uh, we can agree on that. <laughs> because if you're telling me transparency means showing every expenditure of the tourist development tax, it's all here. And if anybody has an issue with it, okay. then we can have a conversation about it. And it goes and in well, fact it goes beyond that. Payroll taxes are on here. It goes it's very, very detailed. Uh, health insurance uh, it, and then it goes into health, health insurance. But there are no names attached and so forth. Uh -oh. Okay. We have not well, stopped her also, too. Yeah. Just, just I mean, you know, again. Because she, she yeah. thought that we did. I think it's like, yeah, it's been very transparent. You know, when you have questions, we'll sit down and talk to you. And we have a huge team of accountants and people who actually put right. numbers together. I think it's a well, here's the, here's the disconnect. Here's the disconnect. Again, I trust me, I have this discussion with a lot of people, not just you, I about know. that word, because I, I think it, it may very well be the most misused word mm -hmm. in 2016. 
Okay. Maybe uh, always. Uh, maybe always. And when you say very transparent, you know, to me, uh, it's kind of like black and white. It's either black or it's white. It's either transparent or it's not. When I see a payroll line item that says $38,000 in salaries, but I don't know if that's one or more people, mm -hmm. and I don't know who those people are, mm -hmm. and I don't know what they were paid for or what their position is, that's not transparent okay. in my book. Okay. In your book? In my book, we are providing the documentation that is required of us every quarter that lists every penny spent out of that tourist and, development and, and the bottom line is, and we'll just end it with this, the bottom line is, if you can't do better than that, it's my impression that the Speaker of the House wants to take away your funding. Well, and, and we will certainly, you've had that conversation, we were not privy to that conversation other than what you've aired, and we will have a conversation with the Speaker of the House for him to understand what we do and how we do it and how we spend those dollars, and we'll come to a, a, an agreement on, on how, what we disclose and how we disclose it. And again, we respect his position. You're not gonna get me to say anything contrary to that. You know what, we respect every elected official that we work with, and we have many, in this county and in this state that we work with and uh, we have no problem sitting down with him and showing him what we do and how we do it and getting his opinion specifically on how we do things because we're not like uh, Pinellas County. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, let me just say this. Uh, I, I respect you in the sense I that, that I, you know, I've done my homework on you. Uh, I, just being a high school principal to me is, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, A very tough school.